Welcome back to my channel. Today we are reacting to parts of Amberlin's new video. So I am literally one minute away from clicking on my third therapy session, the little Zoom length. Length? What's a length? Oh my God, I'm nervous. <laughs> I get anxious and nervous before my appointments. Um, the link to the appointment. I'm about to click on that. So I just wanted to let you know, hello, hello. That is what's about to go down. And immediately afterwards, I like to uh, give you guys a little update on how the appointment went. Obviously, I don't get into details or anything like that. So I will see you guys in probably exactly about an hour. So see you then. Okay, so I just got out of the session. It was session three. And this one was really heavy. She seems to be too emotional to talk really. That is why I think coming on here and talking about your appointment is a little weird. This therapy is for you. You can take a moment to calm down before you report back to people on the internet. Really emotional. Um, we're starting to slowly talk about like my past traumas and I don't know, I broke down and it's hard and um, we also talked about, well, the beginning half was about like YouTube and um, just the things around it, the things that I have to endure, endure, that's such a weird word. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> um, but then the second half of therapy was a lot about some things from my past that um, I'm, I'm just feeling really heavy, emotionally heavy and I don't, I don't really know what else to say. I'm just not in the best head frame right now after this appointment because it was so, it was just really emotional. Whew. Yeah, I feel, I feel heavy, emotionally heavy. So I, I don't really actually know what to say about this um, session. Although I know that I need therapy. I need it so bad. And I'm glad I'm doing it. So it's not even about the 12 sessions I need for weight loss surgery anymore. It's not even about that. It's so much more. I'm just, I'm so ready. As hard as it's going to be, I'm so ready to look trauma in the eye and to heal because it's not about accepting trauma and then just moving on. You have to accept it and then heal and then move on. There's like a little stage in between there that I need to, that I need to um, embrace as hard as it is. And I'm gonna be doing that through therapy. I'm just confused about her year of therapy before this. She was telling us in the beginning that she was focusing on her past too, so she either was focusing on her past or on her eating habits, but now with her new therapist, she is talking like she has never had this kind of therapy before and that she just now realizes how much trauma she has and how much healing she needs to do. Okay, so, I have a massive Target haul. I get a little, Thumbnail on it. Okay. First things first. Um, got some sparkling water. Got cucumber and mint for Feline. And me, coconut and pineapple. Because I'm not really a cucumber and mint type of gal, but I'm definitely a coconut and pineapple type of gal. <laughs> Next, got some jalapeno and cheddar cheese smoked chicken sausage. So 150 calories. Really, one of them has 14 protein. Okay. I got some cage free hard boiled eggs. Some sea salt plantain chips. That I'm excited to try. Then got some Colby Jack cheese just to snack on. 80 calories for one with five protein. You guys haven't seen it, but I have been busy all day long and I just feel so tired. I'm so tired. So I have some stuff I have to mail. So I got some bubble wrap for that. I hope I got enough. And then I also got some tape for shipping. And then I ran out of sleep medicine, just melatonin. This is the best. It works amazing. This isn't the brand Ollie. This helps me so much. So I needed more of that. Lean picked out these are little mini butter filled pretzels. Peanut butter. Mini peanut butter filled pretzels. Just individually bagged. Got some of these Stroop waffles. Um, it's just like a little snack, I guess, that you have with your coffee. I don't know, Feline got it in caramel. Um, I tried to drink coffee for a couple of days there, and it just, it isn't jiving with me. I'm so coffee sensitive, caffeine sensitive, really, but I mean, coffee has so much caffeine, I just can't sleep, so not for me. I got these Thai sweet chili pistachios. Figured I would give those a try. I got this red lentil mac and cheese bites. It's made with red lentil pasta. 
I don't know. Figured out the other time. I got three of these. Um, it's, it's for Twinkie. It's just like chicken dog food, but like healthier. There's no like gravy or slop. Literally, the only ingredient is chicken. So, love that. And then, last but not least, I got two new wax melts. Or wax melt warmers, excuse me, they're literally identical. Um, because I need new ones. So, that is the target haul. This seems like a snack haul more than anything. Maybe she is still making meals with a bunch of different snacks. She did show us in a couple of videos that she likes those meals. But with her still not really losing weight, maybe she should try something different. So I'm about to show you the before clip from my last vlog of how my living room looked. This is our couch blanket. It's for when we cuddle, we watch movies together, or like catch up on our shows or we're just scrolling through TikTok together. It's the cuddle blanket, it stays on the couch. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. Okay, you guys ready? Oh my God, when I tell you the obsession is real, I was worried that this was gonna be too big, but it looks perfect, it looks amazing. I, it, it just feels so cozy. Um, I've had a rug in here before, but it was a cheap one. This one is not so cheap, so <laughs> look how cute. I like the new coffee table. Wasn't she just changing the pictures on the walls though? Either way, we don't really see this space often so it is not for a video background or something. It's really not even a reveal. It's just a rug and table. And I guess you cleaned up the couch. I like it, but it's not a makeover moment in my opinion. This part was just a whole minute of Amberlin and Faleene saying cashew to each other and pronouncing it in different ways. Amazing. I'm not only really a sparkling water gal, besides they're nice. And I gotta admit, these are kind of good and they quench that. The bubbling carbonation. Yeah. So literally the ingredients are carbonated water and natural flavor. That's it. Zero calories, zero fat, zero sodium, zero carbs, zero protein. Okay. She's good. She's good. But natural flavors usually means um the liquid, the juices that comes out of waters and beavers. What? And when something is colored red, wait, wait, it's what? bugs. What was, it's beetles. What was, uh, what liquids? That comes out of their anal region. Okay. That's, cool. That's what natural flavors is. <laughs> I'm not lying. Mm. I learned about it. Auto? Watch, Alexa, what is natural flavors? Is it from otters or beavers? Mm. I don't know that. Me neither, Alexa. See, you guys have not. Have you heard about the ones where if something is red, it's from the, the beetles and bugs getting squished? I've heard about Starbucks drinks being red because of the beetles and bugs. That goes with anything that's like red. I need to do some digging. Do some digging because I've done it all for you already. I just don't like that look on your face. I Because it's, it's, it's weird. It's, we live a lie. We are literally drinking okay. carbonated water in anal region from an otter or beaver. All right, and with that, I'm gone. I'm done. I yeah. love you. You're perfect. Thank you, baby. This is real. I'm not sure that's really how it works. Natural flavor could mean a lot of different things. Look at the text I sent you. So it is more commonly used for vanilla flavoring than just randomly in sodas. She is really so confident, while not even being right, and she has done so much research of course. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.